Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode on River Geeks. Today we're going to be covering how to export that HickRaz 2D velocity animations into QGIS. It's very similar to RazMapper except it's within QGIS and it's just a little bit cleaner if you want to create layouts or animations. Um, so this is a two part series. For this first part we're going to be covering how to get that started. Um, configuring your HECRAS and getting that exported to QGIS. The second part we're going to be covering how to uh, create your layout and animations within a layout. So if you don't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel. That way you can uh, keep up when we come out with that second part series and also just reach a wider audience. Thank you again. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure our HECRAS model is configured correctly um, for this to work. So what you'll need to do within your plan file is just make sure you have that post processor checked. And so when you run that, it's going to write it to that .po5, uh, that plan file to HDF. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up QGS um, and then before we get into looking for this, um, we'll need to make sure that we have Crayfish installed. So we'll go to Manage Plugins. I already have Crayfish installed, but so you'll install Crayfish. And what we're about to do today is when we pull in those to look at those vectors uh, and uh, time varying vectors, you don't need Crayfish for that, but you'll need Crayfish for. Um, the second part of this series when we look at uh, exporting those animations and just exporting those to those layouts. So what we'll need to do is we're going to go to um, open data source manager. We're going to look for that I'm going to go ahead and filter this by HDF. So we're looking for that .po5 HDF right here. So we're going to open that up and then we're going to add. And so now we need to make sure that we have our layer styling toggled. and then our temporal controller. All right. So we're concerned with the velocity. So you have two different options. You have that time bearing velocity and then you have your maximum. So what we're gonna do, we'll start off with the time bearing so for you to show your vectors, you have to toggle these options. Um, so I'm gonna go to my contours. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. Make the minimum 0 0.01. And then I'm gonna clip out those range values. <coughs> and then I'm gonna change this symbology. And so I want to show this mesh as well, and I'm gonna change this color to more of a brown. Just a lighter color. I 
and you can just see those vectors uh, and that and to adjust those vectors you can change them here you get your min your max um, you can change the spacing if you want to uh, adjust that um, you can adjust your color I'm gonna make it white maybe it'll be a little bit easier to see And then for your, uh, you can change that to streamlines. We can change that density. and then you have traces. So I'm just gonna drop that back to arrows and just show you the max layer. So I'm gonna toggle that. Let's change that symbology to what I have for the time varying. Clip out of range. I'm just going to add a little satellite behind that. So there you have it. Uh, that is it for our first part of this series. Second part of the series, we're going to be going over uh, the layouts, exporting this to a layout, and then having. Uh, animations within those layouts thank you again if you like the content please subscribe so we'll be coming out with that second part here soon thank you